Welcome to Conflict News 24. A look at headlines. Firstly, Congolese opposition armed group M23 is uh, advancing towards Goma city. Uh, two days ago, M23 fighters were near Rugari. Now they have gone past Rugari. They are around 20 kilometers away from Goma city. Meanwhile, FARDC, Congolese military, backed sources uh, and some pro-government activists are claiming that uh, FARDC has retaken uh, Kivanja and Mbanga. Uh, are these claims true? Uh, secondly, video of uh, a damaged FARDC tank uh, is being shared by M23 fighters. M23 fighters are claiming to have destroyed four tanks of FARDC Congolese army. Video of at least one tank has been shared by M23. Thirdly, Kenyan troops have arrived in Congo. Uh, around uh, more than a week ago, Kenyan government announced to deploy its troops in eastern Congo to stop M23 fighters. And today, Kenyan troops arrived in Goma. How many uh, Kenyan soldiers have arrived in Goma? Will they be deployed to the area where fighting is ongoing? Or will they protect Goma? Uh, lastly, Angola's president uh, is in DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. He was in Rwanda on uh, Wednesday and on Saturday he arrived in Congo. He's trying to mediate between Congo and Rwanda. Firstly, viewers, uh, despite counter-offensives being launched by FARDC, uh, Congolese military against M23 fighters on uh, more than two fronts. M23 fighters are advancing towards Goma. Goma city is their main target, which is the main city in North Kivu province of eastern Congo. Uh, two days ago, M23 fighters were near Rugari. Rugari is uh, to the north of uh, Goma, around 30 kilometers away from Goma in uh, northern direction is Rugari. And uh, around 24 hours ago, FARDC launched two counter-offensives on M23 fighters. One was launched uh, to the north of uh, Kivanja uh, near Mabinga and Kahunga. And the other was launched to the south of uh, Kivanja near Rugari. And after that, we saw several claims, several unconfirmed uh, reports that Kivanja had come back under FARDC control, that Mabinga had come back under FARDC control, but no confirmation. Uh, Kivanja is under M23 fighters control. M23 fighters uh, are advancing from Rugari towards Goma. They were near Rugari and now they are near Kibumba. Kibumba is around 20 kilometers away from Goma. So from Rugari, M23 fighters have managed to reach Kibumba from where Daphne will try to move towards Goma. Uh, no major uh, gains by FARDC, Congolese army. Uh, they, are, they are just making claims, but uh, no visual uh, confirmation. M23 fighters are definitely moving towards Goma city. They are sharing pictures, videos of uh, captured and destroyed uh, heavy weapons of uh, FARDC Congolese army. Video of at least one tank of uh, Congolese army is being shared uh, by M23 fighters who uh, partially destroyed uh, the tank. Uh, they are claiming to have destroyed and captured four tanks of Congolese army. 
Video of at least one tank has been shared by M23 fighters. Congo accuses neighboring country, especially Rwanda, of backing M23 fighters. Rwanda denies uh, uh, while the two countries are involved in a diplomatic standoff, Rwanda and Congo. M23 fighters are advancing along Congo-Rwanda border and now they are heading towards Goma city. We have a clip for you showing M23 fighters with uh, a partially damaged tank of Congolese army. The video is from Rat Shoro. Watch the video. Second level was Kenyan troops have arrived in eastern Congo. They landed uh, on Goma airport today. How many Kenyan soldiers have arrived in Congo? Will they be deployed to front lines or will they remain in Goma city? More than a week ago, Kenyan government announced to deploy its troops in eastern Congo to stop M23 fighters. Burundi's troops are deployed to East Africa community countries are trying to help Congo. But will their troops be involved in stopping M23 fighters on front lines? Yesterday, uh, M23 spokesperson Major Willie warned Kenya that uh, if Kenyan troops try to engage M23 fighters, M23 fighters will definitely fire upon Kenyan troops. Uh, how many Canadian soldiers arrived in Goma today? Reportedly around 100 KDF soldiers. Canadian Defence Force soldiers arrived uh, on Goma airport today. 100 soldiers uh, cannot uh, make uh, a big uh, defence. So Canadian will have to send more uh, if Canadian wants to stop uh, M23 fighters. Meanwhile, on the 16th of November, talks are due to be held in Nairobi, Canadian. Uh, to resolve the conflict in eastern Congo. M23 fighters, uh, will they attend the talks? Uh, will they be invited? That's not clear. Uh, Congo is opposing the participation of M23 fighters uh, in uh, November 16's uh, talks. Kenya uh, will become controversial if it becomes part of uh, military operation against M23 fighters in Eastern Congo. Perhaps it won't be in a position to mediate between M23 and FARDC if it if its forces become part of the fighting in Eastern Congo. Let's see, will Canadian troops be deployed to front lines or will they remain in uh, Goma? Uh, are they for the protection of Goma city? Or will they be deployed to the areas like Rogari, like uh, Kibumba, where fighting is ongoing? That remains to be seen. Was a clip showing the arrival of Kenyan troops uh, at Goma Airport uh, in North Kiva province of Congo. Lastly, viewers, Angola is trying to mediate between Rwanda and Congo. Last month, Congo expelled Rwandan ambassador accusing Rwanda of backing M23 fighters. Congo recalled its ambassador from Rwanda. Rwanda remained silent mainly. Uh, Congo accuses uh, Rwanda of fueling the conflict in eastern Congo. Congo says, Congo's military chief two days ago said that uh, uh, Rwanda was stealing uh, Congo's gold, Congo's mineral resources in eastern Congo by using the pretext uh, that uh, uh, FDLR, a Rwandan opposition group, was operating in eastern Congo. The tensions there. Uh, Joao Lorenko, Angolan uh, president, is trying to de-escalate the situation. Yesterday, on Friday, he was in uh, Rwanda where he held a meeting with Paul Kagame, Rwandan president. And today he arrived in uh, Congo where he held a meeting with uh, Felix uh, Shakedi, who is president of Congo. And Angola succeed in 
de-escalating the situation between Rwanda and Congo that remains to be seen. So several uh, mediatory channels are being launched uh, in a parallel manner. Kenya going to host talks after three days. Angolan president also busy. Burundi has also been trying to resolve the conflict in eastern Congo, but so far no peace uh, initiative has succeeded. M23 fighters want to reach Goma, while Congo government wants M23 fighters to withdraw from all occupied areas before the participation of uh, M23 fighters in upcoming talks in Nairobi, Kenya. So, overall, we can sum up that uh, so far uh, no diplomatic efforts have succeeded uh, in uh, resolving the conflict in eastern uh, Congo. Can the deployment of East Africa community forces stop M23 fighters? That remains to be seen. Uh, we'll have to wait and see the deployment of uh, KDF troops. Will Kenyan troops be deployed to Rugari, Kibumba, uh, Kiwanja, or will they remain deployed only to Goma? That remains to be seen. Thanks for watching.